welcome back to the channel guys today we're doing a hair review on this wig right here from this company called here you go so i did purchase this wig with my own money it wasn't sent to me or anything it's a 18 inch straight brazilian burgundy human hair lace front wig with a 4x4 lace closure at 150 density. So a few of you were asking about the wig that I wore in the last video. Luckily, I did record some footage the first time I wore this wig, but I didn't feel I did this wig any justice the first time around because I was in a rush and I didn't have the time to style it the way I wanted to. And the second time I wore it, I didn't end up recording the process. So I kind of wasn't going to post this video, but some of you were asking, so here it is. A few of you may have already seen me do this process, but what I'm doing right now is really just uh, cleaning my hair, my braids backwards so I can make them flat in order for my wig to, um, to fit on my head. Like I said before, this wig is 18 inches long. It may look a little bit longer on me because I am 5'3", and it is a 4x4 lace closure. So it has an adjustable strap and three combs, one in the back and one on each side. And as you can see here, I am installing this wig without a wig cap only because I'm going to take, I'm going to be removing this as soon as I get back home, guys. Now, right now, I'm just adjusting this to my liking and ensuring those combs are securely in place. And this wig is very beginner friendly. So if you don't want to use any glue, you don't have to because the straps are already there along with the combs. I'm just going to wear this to the side for now because I'm not much of a middle part girly, but it kind of looked pretty cute just now. So I might try it like that one of these days. So normally I would use the Got To Be Glued gel, but today we're going to try the Got To Be Glued spray for the first time. I want to tell you guys that I've had this Got To Be Glued spray for a while now, and I just wasn't, <laughs> I've never used it. This is actually really my first time using it. I don't know why I was always just hesitant to use it, but, but I feel like I actually like it a lot more than the gel to stick my wig down. But I really do like the gel for my baby hairs though. So next time, I think I'm going to try to spray with doing the baby hairs and see how that works. Now I'm just going to cut away the excess lace from the front. Now I'm spraying a little bit more of the freezing spray on the lace on the front right there just to help make it look a little bit more seamless and less noticeable. Now I'm just going to pull out a few strands at the front to make my baby hairs. And guys, I'm not a pro at this so I'm just going to cut a small piece first just to gauge it to see how long I actually want my baby hairs to be and then I'm going to cut it to the actual length that I want it to be. Like I said, I'm in a rush, so I won't be adding any concealer to the part in the 
to that part right there to blend the lace any further this is exactly how i'll be wearing it today but if you guys want to blend it more you can to make it look a little bit more seamless um you can always add your concealer or foundation to the part and where the lace is shown to make it look a bit more natural like it's growing from your scalp continue guys on and my favorite lip gloss at the moment i'll leave the link in my description this one's for all my thick lip gloss girlies you love it thick this one's for you now i'm just gonna run my flat iron through my hair two times literally just to straighten it out a bit and for the top portion guys i like i said i'm in a rush i really don't have the time but to flatten the top portion of your hair to make the top a bit flatter you can use your hot comb to flatten that that area right there but i really don't have the time right now i'm so sorry so this is the finished look for now and this is what it looked like after i went out and i came back And this is what it was looking like the second time around when I actually wore this wig. And this time around, I did add some concealer to the lace at the root right there just to help it blend in a little bit more and look a little more natural like it was growing from my scalp. I mean, I got so many compliments from wearing this wig. And uh, as you can see, I did put a little bit more effort into my makeup this time. It was looking so good. I really love it. I did not experience any shedding at all. This wig is so gorgeous. I'm gonna leave the details for this wig in my description, so don't forget to check out my description box. Until next time, bye.